Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Skin Biology with Dr. Hefsi Tago. Gosh, it's been a couple of weeks since my last recording, but I'm super, super excited that I can bring you this special Q&A edition this afternoon. Now, as at the time of this recording, I had about 30 subscribers on YouTube, so <laughs> I know I'm not talking to myself on camera. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and of course share with your friends, colleagues and your family. Now, in this episode, um, I've collated all the questions that have come through over the last um, three episodes and um, I've grouped them into the top five questions that a lot of you have been asking, which I will address after the break. Stay tuned. after having a bath. So there is actually such a condition known as aquagenic puritus and basically those who suffer from it tend to itch either for a short period or up to an hour or two after having a bath or shower. What causes it no one really knows but there are some remedies that have been proven to help relieve that itch. The most common one is by adding bicarbonate of soda to your water. Does it work? Sorry, can't tell you. Why don't you try it and let me know? The other alternative is to take antihistamines, which is the same medication you would use for allergic conditions and hay fever and um, hypersensitivity reactions like that. Um, interestingly, it tends to occur a lot more when using cold water and also when you're exposed to rainwater. So perhaps try using warm water um, lukewarm water, not too hot, and see if that helps elevate the itch experienced after having a shower. Okay, question number two. How do I get rid of my post-acne spots? You can actually use serum-based products as, as these have been shown to, over time, help with um, evening the skin tone. Now, these are different to skin lightening creams. Of course, those are no, 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 no. Serums are safe um, and of course the earlier you start treatment or applying them, the uh, better the chance of they working effectively. Okay, next question. If I have oily skin, do I still need to apply moisturiser? Simple answer, yes you do. Although your body may be producing a lot more sebum than it needs to, you still need to rehydrate after having a bath. Yes, you still get rid of skin cells, you still lose some lipids. Um, content and these need to be replenished. Okay, now the last question said every time I use a hand sanitizer my hands go dry. Yes, that will happen and that is expected to happen just because they have a high alcohol content and alcohol evaporate and with it it will take some moisture away from the skin. So um, some high grade um, sanitizer would have glycerin base emollients in the formulation and so it won't go as dry as some of the other cheaper versions on the market but you can always um everyone should have a hand cream in their handbag or your pockets and uh, yeah just apply some hand cream afterwards and last but not the least so in episode one i talked about how you can use humidifiers to help um, put moisture back in the environment or the room that you're in. And so I've got one here that we use at home that I would show you. This is what a humidifier looks like. Basically, you would, um, I haven't come up with battery operated ones, but it comes, you have to plug it in. It goes into the wall. Um, this bit here comes off. You fill the inside bit with water, close it. The beautiful thing about this spoon, I mean it hasn't got water in it now, but it's got remnants of the um, scents that are pouring with the water. So we normally put in um, some kind of minty flavours, you know, that can help 
ease the breathing as you're sleeping, keep the nice, uh, keep the air nice and fresh as well. Keep your pores and nasals all open. So um, I'll put in a few drops of eucalyptus in the water, close it off, plug it in, hit the switch button, comes with the light as well, paste the ambience for night time. And then yeah, you would just um, start vaporizing the water, it's basically vaporized and so it puts moisture in the air. I got this from Amazon, I will put the link in the footnotes and um, affordable, very very affordable. We've got um, about three for the main rooms in the house. Okay, so that's so there you have it for your top five questions over episode one, two and three. I hope they've been useful. Now do keep sending your questions in. Next week we are talking about eczema. Um, yes, eczema can be a pain. So um, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Do share and join me next Thursday as we go skin deep to understand the biology of eczema. Stay tuned. Be safe and don't forget to show some love to your neighbour.